Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm just so excited just to sit down and film. Oh, guys, I feel like it's been forever. I have tried and tried and it just keeps falling apart. Speaking of falling apart, don't talk about it. But anyways, I'm just so excited just to be here. Just talk to you guys, just to do a look. Going to my son's football practice tonight. So um, I'm ready to just kind of dive in. I picked out a palette and we're just going to kind of go crazy with it and just kind of come up with whatever we come up with. I was planning on doing like a BoxyCharm comparison video, but my box hasn't come in. So we're not even going to go there. So, um, anyways, let's just dive right on in. I did my hair. How freaking cute, right? Like a messy, kind of wild, straight in, kind of beautiful, hot mess look kind of thing. And I love it. But, anyways, um, the only thing I did off camera was I did my brows. Because I have to do my brows off camera, I feel like. With not having glasses, it's a hot mess. But I could totally do another brow video if you guys would want something like that. No problem. But we're going to go ahead and clean up our brows. I'm using the Benefit Boeing Concealer. I haven't used this in a while. I can't remember if I like it or if I don't like it. I'm in the shade number 3 in M01. I like the, the applicator. It's real flexible. That's super nice. It's a nice little match for me too. I like a lighter concealer. Because I like a light and bright under eye. As you guys already know... But yeah, guys, I'm like, I was like so excited to film. Like, I've been thinking about it all day today. Like, oh my god, get to film today, get to film today, <laughs> get to film today. My plan is to film like literally like every day after work, but so, a lot of times it just doesn't turn out, which sucks, but God's will, you know. But you know, I'm thankful for the times it doesn't work out because it gives me so much practice, not only with editing. But with the camera and with my looks and everything. So, nothing's lost. I always try and have a grateful heart, you know? So, just gonna clean these up. I like this concealer for my cleaning up. It turns out really good. So, I'm gonna go in with my... Um, this is my concealer buffer brush from Jess Up to 142. Just kind of, just kind of buff it out. I just feel like concealer, or your brows just isn't as good as it could be until you clean up. Like, mm, girl. Okay, so let's do the exact same thing on the other side. Hope and pray my kids ain't breaking my, or hope and pray my kids ain't, um, breaking each other's bones out there. Sometimes I feel like it sounds a lot worse than what it really is, you know? And other times it's exactly what it sounds like. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So then we're going to do the top. anybody else ever leave the concealer on? I can't tell you how many times I've left it on. Went to work like this. Went to events or, you know, wherever. And every concealer on the back of my hand. Or shadows on my arm or, you know, whatever. I always forget about them. One more thing I don't forget about the lipsticks because a lot of them transfer right all over the place. Not even kidding. So yeah, there's that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can wave it off. So, there's that. Our brows are all cleaned up. So now we're going to go into the face. Yeah, let's go into the face first. I think that sounds good. So um, I'm going to go in with a um, moisturizer first. I'm still using that Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer. It's got the SPF 30 in it, which I really enjoy. I need to get a bigger vanity, guys. One of these days, I have my own little beauty room. Me and my husband's been talking about it. 
said, all you gotta do is really get me a she shed. But no, no. He always wants to get me the finer things. I always get con or moisturizer or primer in my eyebrows. This is why I wait to put the gel in. To really set them because that gel can get rid of all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Although when you put pomade in like I do, it really just kind of sets in there. Like it's so stiff, you know? At least the brow pomade that I use does. So, let's get that moisturizer now for primer. Um, I've been using so much of that Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer that I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is another one of my favorites. Super inexpensive. Really good quality product. I just love it. But being a YouTuber, I have to... I'm always out to try new makeup. You know what I mean? And I use a lot of this stuff. I feel like I use a lot of anything. I don't really know how much of it I've used or if I've even used too much until it's all in there. But I got like little pimples and stuff coming up. So whatever. I'm trying to blur as much of this as possible, you know. And that stuff is so smooth and like silky. Oh, I love it. I tell you, if you guys are moms of boys, the sounds that come out of their mouths and their bodies is just uncanny, you know? You're not even playing. So yeah, this is a good one. My personal opinion. And excuse me guys, I have to always check after I do everything. Because I can't see. But yeah, that looks good. I do look a little dewy, a little oily-like, but it doesn't feel oily, you know what I mean? I want to give that time to just kind of soak in my face for a minute. Yeah. Give that time to set in my face for just a second. So meantime, while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our eye look. I'm super excited about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and prime our eyelids because I want this to prolong just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. Just a little dime size. Not even dime size, like a pea size or it's super small. Because this stuff goes a long, long way. Back there. I'm gonna take that same concealer buffer brush from Jess up and I'm just just on the bottom lid. Cause I pretty much got from my crease and above when I cleaned up my brows. You're just kind of tapping that in like so. Every time I do that, it makes my eye itch. I swear. I just tap. Try to keep from doing one show wipe or motion because it leaves streaks from the brush strokes and I'm not a fan of that. So we're just gonna kind of let that dry down. Let it set for a minute. And then for eyeshadow, guys, we're going to go into this She Glam Breeze palette. She Glam is um, a line that is exclusive just to Sheen. I don't know if you guys have ever visited the Sheen website, but oh, I love it. It's got clothes on there. Um, it's got makeup. It's got, like, just uh, pretty much everything, really. I, I love their clothes. I mean, I know a lot of people don't buy clothes from online because of the sizing and all that. But I always order like a size up or I'll read the rate. I always read the ratings. But I'll read the ratings and if a lot of the ratings will tell you, you know, order a size up or these are exactly to my size, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I order countless items from there. And, I mean, they, they never disappoint. I mean, I love them so much. Even, actually, the leggings that I got on right now are from Sheen. So, they're awesome. But this palette actually come from them. I mean, freaking look at that, guys. Oh, my God. I think this is like... $10. Look at that. 
I got like five of them. I'm not even kidding. I know that seems a little excessive, but mama don't play. Especially when it comes to her makeup. No, no, no. So, now that we've got that ready, we're just going to kind of dive in, guys. Because I really don't know what I'm doing, to be totally honest. So, um, for like just all over, just to kind of set this primer a little bit and get everything going. We're going to go in with this daily routine. This like mauve pink, dusty rose kind of color. And this has a mirror too, and I haven't even taken... I've never even taken a little peel off of it. Ain't that crazy? There we go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. All right, so let's just kind of dip. And these are pigmented, guys. I mean, seriously. Like, look at that. I'm just kind of batting this in. Oh, sorry. I'm using the JH30 brush. It's my favorite all over the lid brush. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab. I got their whole brush set. It's just awesome. We're just kind of buffing this out. Just like that. It's kind of darker than what I would like, but we can jazz it up. It ain't no big deal. Hmm, see my face is, oh. Mm, yeah, so just like that, guys. How freaking gorgeous, right? Mm. Love it. So now, next color. Mm, I'm kind of thinking about that purple. I mean, how freaking pretty is that, right? So let's go ahead and let's do that. Kind of in the crease a little bit. We're going to go in with this Luxie 520, or no, 250 large eye blending brush. And this is one of the like silicone brushes. I really like it. At first I didn't, but it takes a little bit. This one's called Flamboyant. And we're just gonna kind of look at that, guys. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And we're just gonna kind of move it to the crease, tap it into the inner corner. Really kind of jazz this eye look up. I like this concept. Just to take an eyeshadow palette and just kind of use it and just get inspired, you know? Just like that. And I'll do that same thing on the other side. I'm really loving this. Super pretty. Don't worry about the edges. If it's like a little crazy, we can always we'll blend that out in a minute. With another color. Bet you can hear my three-year-old playing in her bedroom, huh? I always have a baby monitor in there. And it actually picks up my boys' room, too, just in case they're doing something they shouldn't. Mm, but look how freaking gorgeous that is. I'm living for it. Now, I'm... I don't know what color... Ooh, yeah, let's go into this one, guys. This is called Gold. It's got flecks of purple and flecks of gold, but when you swatch it, look at that. I'm not trying to flip you off, but freaking look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's spray our brush, and let's check this out. Super, super, super excited. Yeah, 
I'm gonna clean this brush because this is my favorite brush to use when I have glitters or anything like that. That's another brush out of that um, collection from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. It's just the best. So now we're gonna spray our brush. No, 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 we're gonna use a different spray. I'm trying to get rid of this freaking wet and wild spray that I bought. Started out so good, and then ended up being not so good. You know, that ever happened to you? Like, spritz are just kind of flaked on me. Packaging issue? Like, oh my god, this is like. Oh my god, guys, look at that. I'm like loving. Got like flex of gold, flex. Of, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Lord Jesus, how pretty is that? It's like freaking perfect. I think that's just everything. Like literally everything. I do the same thing on the other eye. Talk about inspiration, guys. That is just. Oh my god, I just freaking love that. Two pieces. That's like literally. That's freaking perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do. We're going to use that same brush that we used. Put that purple and we're just gonna ever so slightly just kind of take care of that situation but I've got more glitter up top than I do here so I'm just gonna kind of you know what I'm saying just to kind of give you that oh my god I mean, I already love it, obviously, but God, it's so perfect. Mm. Okay, so let's finish the eyes, huh? I'm really thinking of a winged liner. Like, I think this look has to have one. And I hardly ever do winged liners without my tape. So we're going to go ahead and go in with those. Um, if you're not very good at winged liner, like myself, um, I use these e.l.f. Um, eye tapes. They are the best. What I do is I just cut them in half because I mean you don't need this big old giant thing for one eye. You know what I mean? So cutting them in half and you get twice the amount of paint. Mm -hmm. Very convenient. Very convenient. If I do say so myself. Just kind of up like that way. I like it more up than outward. But I swear one always looks up, one always looks outward. That looks pretty even. So for liner, we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I love this stuff. It's like the best. It's so black and it's so precise. I mean, look at that tip. Perfect. That lid doesn't fit. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start out here. Here I am raving about how dark it is and it's not wanting to show up. There we go. I like a nice thin liner, but it has to be thick enough to cover the to cover the lash band. Take care of the glue because I cannot 
do lashes without the liner. It just doesn't hold. I commend those girls that can do it, but it won't hold for me for some reason. I've tried so many times. Sorry guys, I'm like right on the main road. go perfect now i'm gonna take these eye tapes off just to show you the reason why i actually should have put them on before i did all my eyeshadow to give myself that sharp line but you know i mean look at that it's just freaking perfect and they're so cheap went to like three or four dollars and that's pushing it i think i mean freaking love it. Oh, love it love it love it it's just the best guys Okay, so uh, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop off, uh, pop on some eyelashes off camera. They're just like a basic uh, yet adorable lash. They look just like this. Mm, so adorable. Um, I got them in like a multi pack of like different varieties from TJ Maxx for like ten bucks. So awesome. Um, but anyways, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pop those lashes on. I feel like it's so unflattering to put lashes on on camera, and it takes so long, and it's so quiet. I tried editing it out, but it don't work. Anyway, so freaking how gorgeous are these? Right? Like, I'm in love with them. Like, they're so beautiful. And like I was telling you, they come in like this beautiful little multi-pack. You can see through me. <laughs> But yeah, they come in all these different styles, and somehow I'm missing one. I don't know how that happened. But anyways, um, and they're by the brand Tony. And they're 3D foam mink lashes. But yeah, they're really awesome. And I think literally I paid, oh, here it is, $7.99. That's how much I paid for those. And you get eight freaking lashes, a dollar a lash. And they're this good? I mean, come on. And I actually seen a video on Instagram just the other day about how to clean them. And I'm kind of interested to try that. So if you guys are interested to see that and you want me to try it on camera for the first time, let me know. Because that would be kind of kind of something I would be willing to try because I'm interested. Because I'm going to try it regardless. But anyways, now that we got that done, the only thing I did off camera was I tight lined. Because I do that right before I put my lashes on. Now we're going to go in with our skin products our you know foundation concealer all that stuff so speaking of foundation we're going to go in with the fit me um, matte poreless foundation i'm in the shade 122 love this foundation guys it's super cheap first of all which is one of my favorites um got a pretty decent coverage or not pretty decent coverage pretty decent shade, shade range really good coverage um and um it's um it's like your skin but better you know what i mean it's like a really great really great foundation like if you're on a budget which i always am i think it's better to be on a budget really you know since it's blow money if you don't have to but i mean it's fun sometimes i guess but anyways so this is really good and it comes with a pressed powder. Well, don't come with it, but they have a pressed powder with the exact same formula, I think. But, you know, it's a match for it. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, it makes your skin, like, so porcelain-like. Like, that's my favorite combo right now, I swear. And the set was, like, $20, $25. Like, it's hard to find a foundation for that price, you know? I 
but I'm not gonna get my ears today, guys, because one, my hair will cover it, and two, I got really pretty earrings on, I don't want to get them all caked up with foundation. I know usually I do, but... I'm just gonna bat this into the skin. I'm gonna kinda see where I'm at, excuse me. Just love this. It's okay if you get it on your brows a little bit, guys, because we still have to clean up. And that pomade has more than set in. I love this top I've got on right now, guys. I got it from my friend, so I don't know exactly where it comes from, but it's like that sheer light material, and it's just so pretty. I love it. Mm, look at that, that beast, oh my god. Let's try it. Let's try it. Try and get the areas I missed, guys. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. Just trying to make sure I can see good enough to get everything. I mean, that the foundation is pretty good and it covered it a little bit. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty decent coverage. I'm not mad about it, but it, isn't, don't, it ain't like I have a whole, whole lot to cover either. You know what I mean? I'm going to try just a little bit more. Just to kind of see. Yeah, see? That went bad. Of course, I don't have my glasses on, but... I don't look bad at all, but I mean, even if I do put my glasses on, yeah, I guess I'll see a little bit, but I mean, you know, that's okay. Don't have like super amazing coverage, but I like the foundation, guys. So now we're going to go with concealer. I'm still using that Benefit. I love this applicator, guys. It's like awesome. And we're just gonna do, I've been doing on my Cupid's bow and not on my um, chin because I found if you do both, it's like bright city, you know what I mean? So now that we've got that in, I'm gonna I'll also go in with some cream contour today. And we're gonna go with KKW's um, cream contour stick. And I use the number one side not the number two or no i'm sorry the light medium one not the regular medium one just kind of snatch up my jaws mm, my jaw line and my cheekbones that's what i meant the first time and I like to get my lip like right here. Just to kind of give me that fuller lip look. But yeah. Now we're going to take our, our beauty blender and we're going to blend all of that out. Never ceases to amaze me how many hairs I have in my way in the process. that a little bit and then we're gonna kind of use this concealer to smudge out our nose contour a little bit not really smudge but boy you know that's what I meant and my lashes are looking so good I love when I'm having a great lash day but then you have a bad lash day it just makes for it oh. A difficult time, you know. Yeah. 
excuse my three-year-old, she's very imaginative. She likes to play mommy and dress up and things of that nature. And now we're going to wrap this out. Help with any extra nose contour that was left. Then go back in. Well, I tend to kind of bring this up a little. Just for that nice elevated jawbone. Or not jawbone, but cheekbone. I don't know why I keep saying jawbone. My jawbone's down here. Now let's get our forehead. Make sure we have everything blended out. Just like that. Oh my god. I feel like the under eye maybe a little too bright. In fact, I'll see it my glasses. It's pretty bright, but it makes it work. No big deal. To set our face, we're going to go in with that same pressed powder that I was telling you about to match the foundation. And I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is just a Fit Me Poreless um, Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder looks just like this and guys I love this um just using the elf powder brush um I love this just because it ticks up all any kind of thing that you miss any imperfections and it smooths everything god I love it so much it's become like my go-to powder even over that LA girl like Maybelline's a little bit impressive In the rain. Yeah. And I love this brush too. It's my favorite, favorite brush. As I said a jillion, a jillion times. I feel like I've said it so much, but you guys haven't heard it near enough. Because my videos never lock, never hit the internet. But yeah, if you guys can see, and I'm just going to kind of bring you up. You see what I'm saying? Like it gives me... You minus my imperfections, obviously, on my pimples and stuff like that, but it just gives you that flawless porcelain, like, feels like really super cheap. I'm like loving it, loving it. So now that we have our foundation set, which is what I did that for, um, we are going to go in and we're going to do um, our bronzer and stuff. And I'm going to do bronzer, one to bronze the face and add some glow, but also to kind of help set that um, cream contour so it doesn't go anywhere. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I'm jumping into this um, Wonder Beauty Trip for Two pa or, um, palette. I freaking love this palette. It's so freaking adorable. I mean, you know, you get your blush, you got your bronzer. It's right there. It's awesome. Just love it, love it, love it. So, I'm going to go with my favorite bronzer brush, which is from Moda. It's just an all-over-the-face brush. That's what I call it. But And then this um, shade is called Costa Rail. Costa Ray. Costa something. But it's awesome. I'm just going to kind of bronze up and just take this wherever I put my bronzer. And all the sides of the nose, even. And use my chin all down my neck. Do the same thing on the other side. You know what I mean? Try to back you guys up a little bit. So you can really get a full view. Like, how gorgeous is that? Just love it. And I actually have, since I have this nice, like, lower top, I'm actually going to do some, um, 
nice little illuminating glitters. Oh, you guys are gonna love it. So now that we're already in here, we're gonna go ahead and do blush, and I'm gonna kind of do a little mixture of blush today. I love the mixed blushes. It's like a whole nother, whole nother thing. You know what I mean? Like it just elevates everything. So I'm gonna go in, and this is don't even have a name. Really cute though. I like it. Um, and we're going to mix that Bellini shade and that um, trio, or a trio, that duo palette. And then I'm also going to go in with the shade Zane. Um, I don't even know. I guess this is made by Lotte London, I guess. I got this, like, in an Ipsy bag. I mean, yeah, that's how long it's been. But this is really, like, one of my favorites. And it's, like, such a mauve You know what I mean? Like, such a mauve Perfect. Perfectness. And it makes for like the beautifulest. If you use too much, I just go with my powder brush. Because that is a lot, I know. I tend to over blush. So I just go with that same powder brush. I gotta make sure it's recording, guys, because God, this happened so many. Happened the other day on my last video, and I was so like. I was so upset. Because it was such an amazing video, guys. Like, I was so proud of myself. And then, nothing. So I'm constantly making sure I'm still recording. Okay, so we're just going to kind of take this from the apples of the cheeks and all the way up to my temple. And I'm doing it kind of heavy. Like that. Like, I know you're thinking, girl, too much. But really, once I blend it out... I'm blending a blush out is like gives you more of that like natural look I feel like you know what I mean like girl Perfect. Now, if that wasn't enough, which you know it never is with me, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a blush topper. Guys, I didn't even set my freaking see. I had plans on using this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder because it's hot outside today. Didn't even use it. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, I was just so excited to be filming that I set up all these products and face just can't handle that much I guess so now um this wet and wild um hello halo collection they got a new blush lighter blush on this side highlighter on this side I really don't use it as a blush I don't think it's dark enough to be totally honest um so I use it as a blush topper I think it's perfect for that it's like a blush topper so I go in with the Alomar cosmetics brightening brush because I don't use this for like a brightening purposes I know some girls do. I just, just like that. And look at that subtle glow it gives. It's almost like a highlighter, really it is. <sighs> That's why I can't use it as a blush. And I mean, it's so perfect. Like literally, so perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with highlighter and I'm gonna use my Milani brush in this highlighter. Like right at the tops. Guys, oh, love, 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 love it. Like right underneath my eye. And then I do it down the bridge of my nose. And across my cupid's bow. Like, hello, and my chin. I try to go easy on it because this gets crazy fast. But yeah, that's an awesome product. Like one of my favorites, actually. So now we're gonna go ahead and spray the face. Um, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I really don't need this because this, it's like, you know what, 3 o'clock, right? Like 3 o'clock. And I'm going to be taking it off at like 9 o'clock. So I don't need a spray that la for, you know, that lasts all day. But it's the only one I have. So we're going to go with that. So now, I'm going to clean up a touch. We're going to finish the lower lash line now that we are all 
brushed in. I'm gonna zoom you in a teensy bit. Colors, colors, colors. What color to use? Guys, I think I'm gonna go a little bold. And I'm going to use this on the lower lash line, that in the inner corner, and this beautiful gem on my brow bone. I'm a colorful person, guys. Some people already know, some people don't. But I'm a colorful person. So, I like to use lots of colors. Lots and lots and lots of colors. The more colors, the better. Freaking killing me. Okay. So now, if I can find the right brush, I have the perfect... Perfect, here it is. So, to, for my highlight, we're going to spray it once again. I'm going to twirl that around. We're just going to... You know what I mean? Just like the perfect amount of something. And it's just like so deep and wet, you know what I mean? It gives like a wet look. I just love it. God, it's so beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to take that same brush. We're going to wet it once again and we're going to go in with that purple shade. Because you got to have a very bright and intense. And this one's called Fresh. Nice is that, guys. Freaking look at that! Oh my god, I'm like freaking in love with these. I got five of these palettes, guys. Five. And my next five videos, guys, I'd be more than happy to do each one of these palettes that I got. Here I like the bomb.com. I swear. Like freaking look at that bright purple in her corner. I'm like in love with this. I can't even say it enough. I'm like, oh my god, how how amazing. You know? When you find an amazing color, this is perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go with that blue and I actually have a nice blue um, eyeliner this is called metallic teal from Ulta Beauty I'm gonna pop that in my waterline just to kind of match now these ain't No, because this is not pigmented at all, and I cannot get no payoff of this at all. Let's try their gel eyeliner. I think I used this one the other day. That's fair. At least you can at least see this one. Yeah, okay. That other one was like god awful. Hmm. Just a little subtle look. Kind of pitch that one. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with that beautiful teal color. To die for teal. So uh, what I like to do is I like to take like a flatter brush um, and lay the product down with it, and then I will take um, and then I'll take a um, a fluffy brush with some of that product, that same color, and just blend out the edges, kind of. That way you've laid down a beautiful line and it looks good. You know what I mean? And this one's called Biscay Green. How cute is that?
that. I mean, you kidding? Then we're gonna go in with just a Luxie soft crease brush and I'm gonna barely, barely dab. But you got so much here. I'm just trying to make sure that it's nice and seamless. Just like, you know, I look up top. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna do that same process. something yeah like that I just love that can't forget a little bit of product I'm just barely touching guys just ever so slightly I mean color 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 but yeah guys this is awesome and for super cheap just I love it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do mascara of course, of course. So now, my favorite, can't put it down, Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. It's the best. Swear it, I swear it. We're just gonna do this ever so slightly. Cause I don't wanna just roll them all up inside of the falsies, just blending the two. You know what I mean? And then with this one, I'm just gonna... Just like that. Dip again. Their formula is so good. Their lashes are so good. I mean, it only makes sense they come out with a bottle mascara, you know what I mean? Just like that. Just kind of another little coat. I'm always so careful with my bottom lashes because I'm always afraid I'm just going to get black on this bright color. You know what I mean? So I don't go super heavy because I'm just so scared. Okay, so we got that. Mm. Of course, I'm in love, 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 love. So now let's puff on my eyeballs. Oh my god, guys, this is just heavenly. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the lip color. I had two lip colors set out, two combos. I have more of like a vampy look, which I'm kind of leaning more towards because I love color. Or I've got a nice nude. But I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're gonna do this. But I will go through with you guys my go to nude for like the bright, colorful looks that I do. Um, I go in with any kind of, you know, your favorite, um, your favorite, you know, tan nude lip liner. Um, I love the Steve Laurent lip liner. Um, I also like, um, the ColourPop, um, lip liners, the lippy pencils, I do believe they're called. Um, they have a really nice one. Um, I think that one's called Shot Clock, maybe, or something like that. But that's a really good one. It's just a little dark for me, so I have to do a lot of blending. So I've been kind of preferring this one a little bit more. But it's rougher on the lips. So and then I go back to the Lippy Pencil because it's smoother, it's softer, it's gentler. It's I'd rather blend it out than mess with all that. You know what I mean? So I mean, pick and choose, you know? And then I go in with my favorite favorite um velvet lip lip uh, velvet matte lipstick i guess you would call it um this is um the nude just the nude lipstick guys i'm starting to fumble now get it together girl 
and then I top it with um, Dominique Cosmetics glosses. These are the bomb. They're not sticky or anything. Like, you're not like, you know what I mean? They're, they're just perfect. And they're just, they give you that nice, bright, like, sheeny look. I love them. Like, even on top of anything, really. Because it's got a nice light color. And it's kind of sheer, really. I mean, it does have pigment. Don't get me wrong. It does. But goes great with a nude or even like a pinky color. It's really pretty. It's nice. Um, and that is in the shade Sugar and Spice. So anyways, so I think I'm going to go in with that vampy look. I'm really excited about it. So we're going to wipe off all of our makeup on our lips. Just like that. Perfect, perfect, guys. And then I'm going to go in with Milani's Color Statement Lip Liner. And I'm in the shade, or, and this is in the shade 12 Bordeaux. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, so, what we're going to do. I tend to overline my bottle lip just a little bit, just for that full, juicy look, you know? Mm, look how perfect, right? Just like a little fill in. Now the top, I'm always nervous because I always mess it up, but fingers crossed, right? Yeah, well, we have that. Actually turned out really good. Pat on the back. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with the Kaha Cushy vibe. And this is, I guess it's pretty much just like a lip. It's I call it a lip stain because this stuff stains. I mean, it's on there. When I I literally I have to take um that um pharmacy melt away makeup remover and get this off. Which I try to make a habit of doing that because with this lash glue, it's all in there. You know what I mean? And this is a little darker. But God, and it's so velvety. I love this stuff. Oh my God. And it even smells like clean, you know what I mean? Not bad at all. But the feel is just oh, luxurious, you know? I need to get these. And more colors. Sorry, I'm going so slow, guys. Like, nothing upsets me more than to have an awesome look and then ruin it with the lipstick. Oh my god, guys, it's perfect. Very vampy, very sexy, very, oh, I just love it. And it goes great with the eye look. I mean, with those nice little purple tints. Minus the lipstick on my teeth, sorry. But yeah, guys, I'm in love, love, love with it. Take my side pieces down, zoom you out. I mean, guys, it's just perfect. Perfect. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. No, hold on. Wait a minute.
I forgot about her glow. I knew I was going to forget about it. I have three different glows. Um, I have Iconic London's Illuminator. And this is the original shade. And we'll do swatches. Um, then I have two cover effect shades. I have their golden one and their crystally one. I call it the crystally one. Um, this one is in the shade... Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really... I thought it said it on here. Oh, Nova. I'm blind. Nova, and this one is in the shade Mirage. I freaking keep these right. So let's kind of do a little bit of a swatch action. Find out which one or ones we want to use. Oh, goodness. So we have that one, which that one's like, um, you know what I mean? It's like golden, but silver. It's like the next, I feel like. Then, which I think that'll go nice, but I just want something more darker. Although this one, guys, I've had for a while, and it's kind of, kind of chunking on me a little bit. But that one is like pure gold, like. Is gold girl. Ah, uh, guys. That's the only bad thing about this lipstick is it sticks to the teeth a little bit. That's okay. And then we're going to go in with the Mirage one, which I recently got this. So I know this one is. This one is perfect. My kids are being so extra today. Like extra so I'm thinking about this one guys yeah let's use that one and guys look at that freaking glitter oh, I love it okay so yeah let's go in with that golden one teeth check situation excuse my bra too guys the bad thing about these kind of tops you can't exactly go to a kids football practice without a bra you know what I'm saying I think I might use a little brush instead of my fingers because I usually use my fingers kind of going heavy on this guys because I think it's about to go bad like look at that just crustiness so I'm trying to kind of try and use up as much as I can because it's starting to dry out on me a little bit but I mean it's only good for so long obviously so we're going to go in with this complexion brush from Alamar Cosmetics. Oh my god, guys. Like, look at this, guys. I mean, like, I know this looks, like, bad. And I think it's because of, of it's going bad, you know? But I, the more I'm blending it out, the better it looks. But I think I'm going to go ahead and throw that one away. Just because I've had it for so long. I've had it for... Ever since my boxy charm. That was like my first ever. That was in my first box. So I mean. That was in my first box. So. And I mean look at that. It gives you so much glow. It's perfect for the summer. Like perfect for the summer. But yeah guys. Now I'm done. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I think it turned out phenomenal. I love it. And like I said, I'm just so happy to be filming. So happy to be here with you guys. 
this is just what I love to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Have a great day. Bye.